now let's work on order of operations with fractions. And remember PEMDAS, right? Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So we have no parentheses here, no exponents, but we have multiplication. So that's where we're going to get started. So 5 over 6 times 3 over 4. 3 and 6, I can divide top and bottom by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Minus 1 fifth. So 5 times 1 is 5. 2 times 4 is 8. Now we need a common denominator. So we can combine the fractions. And the common denominator will be 80. So what I'm going to do is multiply the first fraction by 5 over 5. And the second one by 8 over 8. Excellent. So we're going to get 5 times 5, 25. Minus 1 times 8, 8. All over 40, which is 8 times 5. So 25 minus 8, 17 over 40. That's it. Let me make a nice rectangle around this answer. There we go. Question number two. Okay, so we have division and addition. Division comes before addition. So when we're dividing fractions, we can just flip and multiply by the reciprocal. So 3 over 8 divided by half is 3 over 8 times 2 over 1. And the 2 over 3 just waits for now. Okay, so 2 and 8, those can cancel out because we can divide 2 by 2 and get 1. 8 by 2, 4. 3 times 1 is 3. 4 times 1 is 4. Plus 2 thirds. Now again we need a common denominator. The least common multiple between 4 and 3 is 12. So we can multiply this by 3 and 3. And that by 4 and 4. So 3 times 3 is 9. Plus 2 times 4 is 8. All over 12. So we get 9 plus 8 is 17 over 12. And I will transform this into a mixed fraction. And that's going to be 1 and 5 over 12. That's it. Now let me enclose the answer in a nice little rectangular box. That's it.